guys, it's Billy, and I am out here today in Lower Manhattan where hundreds of thousands of immigrants have come over the years only to find out that our Comic-Con isn't the main one. Please welcome to Billy on the Street for the very first time, a woman I really love, the magnificent Sarah Muhammad Atta Jessica Parker. Assalamu alaikum, Sarah Jessica Parker. Shukran, shukran, shukran. Yes, thank you so much for being here on Billy on the Street. I maybe you were gonna say, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Louise Parker. Similar names. Yeah, three. Are you a three Weeds names. fan? Um, Say no more. <laughs> God, that laugh I'm going to have to deal with for three hours. Oh, sorry. Quit while you're ahead and let's talk about Sex in the City too. Now, when that movie came out, it had a lot of criticism, right? Oh, and, that's what I understand. I didn't read it, but I gleaned from the look on people's faces. But I never understood it, I swear. And it always made me so angry. And I was wondering, you know, how, how that affected you or do you care or do you not care? Because it made me very upset because I, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed everything Sex and the City. Maybe it was a little over the top. It was like a, on a road trip movie. They went to the Middle East. Did, did it affect you or? Um, I, I think what was surprising was uh, the sort of level of vitriol that I understood. That's what I mean. Leveled at it. Um, but my- It was ridiculous. Let me tell you what I think. I felt that, no, this is serious, and I've been thinking about it, and I think enough years have passed now- We can openly discuss it. As no. a nation. And um, I, well, here's what I think. I think that that show had dealt so well in such a smart, sharp way in dissecting guys that I think uh, bros, all the bros out there, like really like the chance to like jump on it finally, I, to a certain degree. I think so, and I think that also- there And they- you know, people said, oh, I don't believe them going to the Middle East. I have one guy, a friend of mine, who's like into sci-fi. He's like, oh, it's not believable they go to the Middle East. I said, oh, you can't believe they go to the Middle East, but you believe in fucking Chewbacca? You fucking turd. They can't go to the Middle East. You believe anything that happens on some planet George Lucas made up, but you can't believe that Kim Cattrall would film for a few weeks in Morocco? I'm serious. I'm so glad to finally be getting this off my chest. Do you know what I mean? I do, and you're, you're saying things that I would never have had the courage to say. You're, yeah, yeah, you're damn right I am! Anyway, I like the movie, and I hope you do another one. Thank you, and it, it, it did make an enormous amount of cash. Oh, why don't you shove that down our faces? We know you're very rich! It's not me, I'm just saying that- It doesn't explain why you're out there begging people to buy your shoes! <sighs> I should have prepared myself for this. Uh, it is uh, magical and wonderful to have you here, seriously. But now it's time to play a game. A game that I like to call Santa's Reindeer or Sex App. Okay, so here's how the game works. I'm going to read you a name. Some of these are names of one of Santa's reindeer, allegedly. And some of them are names of popular sex and dating apps. Do you understand? Yes, I think. If you think it's the name of one of Santa's reindeer, you say Santa's reindeer. If you think it's a sex app, say sex app. Correct. And away. We go grinder. A uh, sex app. Yes, correct. Prancer. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Donner. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Tinder. Uh, uh, sex app. Yes, correct. Blitzen. Uh, Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Christian Mingle. <laughs> Sex app. Uh, yes, correct. Happen. 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 Sex app. Yes, correct. Cupid. <laughs> Santa. No, no. No oh, sex app. No Santa's reindeer. Okay, Cupid. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, Cupid. I know. Answer the question. Sex app. Yes, correct. Um, 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 um Rudolph the Red Nose. Well, for God's sakes, it's a Santa's reindeer. Yes, correct. Did she win? Yes, you win, SJP! Let's see what you win when you win Santa's Reindeer or Sex App. Oh, if you love Tickle Me Elmo, you love Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard! Oh! Yes, you're in Hollywood. It was bound to happen sometime. Yes, let's listen to him. <laughs> we deserve tax exempt status. Yes, 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 they really do. Yes. Well, thank you, SJP. Enjoy your Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard. Thank you. He invented Scientology, for those of you that don't know. Thanks for playing. We'll be right back. I think SJP laughs more than the Tickle Me L. Ron Hubbard.